demonstration of how to pair your sensors, your lights, and do an advanced setup on your Bontrager Ride Time Elite computer. For a computer that's been in use, as you can see, the speed is here, the cadence is here, the lights aren't hooked up here. We have the speed in the upper, the upper part of the screen, and we have the timer in the lower part of the screen. To set up the sensors, the lights, and do an advanced setup, you press the back button until the main screen changes to pair sensors. Right now it says pair sensors no, we want to press the front button and do pair sensors yes. Now, we want to take this over to the bike. For demonstration purposes, I have my front light here and my back light here. This brings it into the field of view. Here we have my um, cadence sender, my cadence receiver, my uh, speed sender and my speed receiver here. Bring the computer next to the bike. It says pair sensors. No, we want to press the front button, pair sensors, yes. So then we press the back button and it says pair sensors all. We want to pair all the sensors. If you do that, it'll find all the sensors that you have. So you press sensors all and notice that it's searching. These flash and then they become steady when they find the sensors. And if they've found a speed and cadence, but they haven't found heart or power, and that's what we want. It says it's done, it's found one, it's actually found two. Now it's asking us if we want to pair the lights. Yes, we want to pair the lights. Uh, we could press no and not pair the lights, but we pair the lights, yes. So we press the back button and start searching for the lights. When it finds a light, the light goes on, it gives you the number, and then they go off. We press the back button again, and it says that we have found two lights, which is correct, so we're done pairing the lights. Now it asks us if we want to do auto lights. This merely means that when we pedal, the lights will automatically come on. We like to ride with the lights on at all times, so we're going to press auto lights, yes. And this takes us into the advanced setup mode of the computer. So we're gonna go back to the desktop to do that. This is the beginning of the advanced setup. It's asking us what we wanna do with the top display. I always wanna put speed up there. You could put games. We don't have heart or power sensors. So if I like speed there, I always ride the speed up there. So I press the back button and it uh, will accept that. Then, then it asks us what we want to do with the lower display. On the lower display, there's about seven different different data points, and it asks us what, if we want to go ahead and use those data points. I'm going to say yes, we're going to do um, the uh, lower display. We could say no and not have a dis lower display. But it's definitely an advantage to have that. So then I press the back button, and it asks us what we want to have on the lower display. Uh, we definitely want timer on the lower display. This tells you how long you, you've been riding for each individual ride. This is an individual distance on the ride you're on, so we want that as well. We're pressing the back button. Uh, we want to display the cadence if we uh, desire to uh, when we press the button, so we'll take that, press the back button. We don't have heart rate, so we'll leave that at no. We don't have power, so we'll leave that at no. We can't, con we can't calculate calories. We can accept that, press that. Now we do want to have the odometer on the lower display when we press one of the buttons. So we'll, we'll press the back button. It also asks us if we want to see the clock. Definitely, I always like to be able to access the clock. So we'll press the back button to accept that. Now it asks us about dual view. Dual view is very interesting because dual view will put your various sensors here, but there are, there's only four options for sensors and I only have two. And since I have speed up here, that would mean I would have to put speed and cadence down here. There's no advantage to dual view. So we're gonna sh shut the dual view off. Now it asks us if we wanna do a scan. The last button on the uh, lower display uh, that you press is a scan. Is the, the scan. We could shut, this, shut the scan off by pressing the, the front button. But I like to have a custom scan, but I don't like to, it to show all the data points. So we press the front button until we get to custom. Then we press the back button and it asks us what we want to do on the custom scan. So on the custom scan, I want to know how long I've been writing. So I'll press the back button. I, 
I want to know how what distance I've been writing, so I'll press the back button and accept that. I don't want dual view of them. And I don't want speed because I've already got speed up here. Uh, so change that to no, and then we'll press the back button again. Um, and it asks us if we want cadence. So I want to view my cadence. So yes, we'll take that. Heart rate, we have no heart rate sensor. So press no for that. Power, back button, no. Calories, no. Odometer, um, we don't need to see the odometer on the scan. We just want uh, uh, the important data points. So we'll stick with no on the odometer. But let's have the clock, because I like to see the clock uh, periodically, so we'll take the stick with the clock. And we are now done. Take you into the ride mode. You'll notice that you've got the uh, speed sensor, cadence sensor, the light uh, sensor is on. We have speed, we have timer. Let's go see how this works with the bicycle. So let's see what happens now when we ride. After the the uh, speed gets above three miles an hour. The lights begin to flash. You notice that we have speed. On the lower level, we have timer. But if we have the timer, we have distance. Uh, we have average distance and, and, uh, and maximum. We have cadence. We have odometer. Uh, we have clock. We have scan. Now it'll show us what the scan is. The scan simply gives us Timer, distance, cadence, clock, and it takes us back to the timer. If we press the, the front button, it'll take us back to timer, so we're done. So that's how it works. The second way of doing a pairing of the sensors, the lights, and doing an advanced setup is, return, is to return the computer to the factory settings by turning it over and pressing the all clear button on the back. That takes it to the digital screen, which will then clear to a plain screen, and then it'll take you to the primary setup. In order to get to the um, pairing of the sensors, the lights, and the advanced setup, you have to go through the primary setup. I've shown you how to do this on a previous video, but I'll go through it quickly here. So it asks you what language you want. You want English, so you press the back button. It asks you what type of bike you want. You can select the various types, but we have a road bike. It asks you what kind of clock you want, 24 or 12 hour clock. We want a 12 hour clock, so we press that. It asks us, now we uh, set the clock. Our time is 8.59, so we'll make it nine o'clock. You press the front button until you get to nine. Now to, to change the, the digits, you press uh, and hold until the digits flash, flash, but we know it's nine o'clock, so we'll just leave it there, but you will just press this to get to another uh, minutes. Press the back button, it gives you the units. The units can be miles or kilometers. We'll stick with miles. It asks us about the odometer. To change the, the value, you press and hold until the cursor moves over to the uh, hundreds. Now we're going to press that individually till we get to four. Press and hold till it gets to the tens. Um, so we want to press this to get to, let's say, 440. Press and hold again until we get to the uh, units. Press and hold and press, press again till we get to uh, 445. We'll, we'll say that's our odometer reading. Press the back button again. It takes us to the uh, weight units. We'll stick with pounds rather than kilograms. It asks, asks my, what, what my weight is. My weight is 221. So I press the front button to change the hundreds to two. Press and hold again to move it to the tens. The tens is correct, so we press and hold again. And the uh, and it takes us to the single digits. We'll say our weight, my weight is 220, so we'll press the back button to accept that. My age is 80, so we press the front button until it gets to 8, hold till it gets uh, to the units, and then bring this back around to 0. My age is 80, so we'll press the back button again. It'll take us to gender. The alternatives are male, female. 
with select mail. Uh, there are a number of wheel sizes uh, in the computer. There are wheel sizes 723, so we'll select that. And then it asks about auto clear. Auto clear means um, uh, when you're writing, it'll record your um, time and distance, but then you can clear it every uh, specific interval. I like to clear it every 12 hours, so I'll take it to around to 12 hours. Accept that back button. Now it's um, asking us to pair sensors. It's, um, asking us to pair sensors. So now we'll take it to the bike and uh, do just like we did before. We definitely want a pair of sensors, yes. Sensors, yes. Press the back button. We want to pair all. It begins to search. So it's found both speed and cadence, but not power um, and uh, not heart rate. So we're done, that, done there. We press the back button and it says it's found one. Of course, it's found two. Now it's asking us if we want to pair the lights. We definitely. We definitely want to pair the lights. So we press pair lights, yes. Now it's searching for the lights. Found one. Now it found the other. And then it shuts off. So we're done with the lights. Press the back button. And it tells us that it, tells us that it found two lights. And it asks us if we want auto lights. Yes, we definitely want auto lights. So press the back button. Now it takes us into the advanced settings. We're asking us to do the um, upper display first. We are now in the advanced display and it's asking us to set up the top portion of the screen. We're going to put speed up there. So we're going to then press the back button to accept speed for the top display. For the lower display, we definitely want a lower display, so we press the front button to say yes, we want the lower display, then we press the back button, and it will tell, it will um, ask us what we want on the door, lower display. We want timer on the lower display. We want distance on the lower display. We want cadence on the lower display. We don't want heart rate on the lower display. We don't have the sensor. We press the back button. We don't have power. Press the front button to no, and then press the back button to accept. Calories no. Press the back button to accept. Odometer. Uh, yes, we want to display the odometer, so we press the back button. Clock, we definitely want to see the clock when we press the front buttons. Press the back button. We do not want dual view. It doesn't add anything to this computer in our setup, so we accept dual view no. And we, we definitely want to be able to scan while we're writing. It's the last button on the lower display. So, um, but we don't want to scan all of the uh, data points. We just want a few. We're going to do a custom scan and uh, we'll accept that and that asks us what we want on the custom scan. We want timer, distance, dual view, no. Speed, we already have speed up here, so we put speed, no. Um, cadence, definitely we have speed up here. We want cadence down here for good writing conditions. We accept that. Heart rate, we don't have heart rate, no. Power, we don't have power. We'll Except no calories, no on the calories. Odometer, um, we don't need to see the odometer on the on the uh, uh, scan button, so we'll press no for that. And then it asks us if we want to see the clock. Always want to see the clock, so accept that. And now we are done. We are uh, ready to uh, try this out and see how it works. After the the uh, speed gets above three miles an hour. The lights begin to flash. You notice that we have speed, we have the timer, we have distance, uh, we have cadence, we have odometer, uh, we have clock, we have scan. Now it will show us what the scan is. The scan simply gives us timer, distance, cadence, it's a clock, and it takes us back to the timer. If we press the the front button, it'll take us back to timer, we're done. So, so I hope this is not too redundant and that it's helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. And when you do, press the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get my future videos. Thanks for watching.